اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Higher order or second order confirmatory factor analysis. In this session, we are going to talk about how to perform higher order or second order confirmatory factor analysis in IBM SPSS AMOS. Second order confirmatory factor analysis. The second order CFA that is confirmatory factor analysis is a statistical method employed by researchers to confirm that the theorized construct in a study loads into certain number of underlying subconstructs or components. Now, a number of times, a construct is modeled at a higher level that is a construct or a variable has got sub dimensions for example we can take the common example of service quality that has got five underlying sub dimensions and each of those sub dimensions is then measured using different items or indicators another common example is corporate social responsibility that has got four or five sub dimensions it may be economic dimension legal dimension ethical dimension or philanthropic dimension. Now each of those dimension is then measured using different indicators. The researcher might want to estimate the effect of main construct on its subconstructs. Here the main construct has become second order construct while the subconstructs become the first order construct. Now how do we model this in AMOS? Now let's say this is my sample model that I want to test. However, this servant leadership here is a higher order construct with three sub dimensions. And I'm not interested in assessing the impact of these sub dimensions on life satisfaction. Rather, I'm interested in assessing the impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction. So what's the process of second order confirmatory factor analysis or higher order modeling? Or how do we estimate higher order constructs? So the first step is Obviously, you assess all the lower order constructs, that is, only have the lower order constructs in your study and assess their reliability and validity. The next, you assess your higher order constructs with your lower order constructs, that is, servant leadership with life satisfaction. And finally, we go for structural model assessment, that is, hypothesis testing. Now, how do we do this in AMOS? These three constructs, they measure servant leadership, behaving ethically, development and wisdom. Now the first step, you have to have your lower order constructs and assess their reliability, validity and model fit. So I've got all my lower order constructs, three of them and then life satisfaction. So first step, just run the model. Now look at this. This is one of the errors that you might face. Although we didn't get this error previously in earlier videos, now I've got this error. The observed variable BE is represented by an ellipse in the path. So how do you counter this error? What you need to do is you just simply have to rename this variable. Let's say I name it BET. Let's see if it runs fine. No, there is with LS. Let's say I name it LST. Now let's run this model and it runs fine you follow the same procedure of assessing the reliability, the validity and the model fit. You report it the same way that we have done earlier. You report the regression weights or rather standardized regression weights. So we need the loadings. You just go here in the output standardized estimates. And if you need to do modification indices, you can do that as well. But for now, let's just run it. And here it is. So standardized regression weights, your model fit, all of them are reported. You calculate your reliability and validity based on your weights. You calculate your HTMT and Fornell and Laka to establish your discriminant validity. Now once this is done, the next step as we saw earlier is assess higher order constructs with lower order constructs. So I've got it here. Now look at this. Now these are the lower order constructs and this is your higher order construct. Now you add a latent variable here and you draw single headed arrows from this latent variable here to your lower order constructs. Now if you run this model now, this will give you errors. Now since there are single headed arrows pointing towards the lower order constructs, you need to add the error terms to your lower order constructs as well. Go to plugins, name unobserved variables. And the next thing that you need to do is you need to fix one of the parameters. Double click here parameters one and the others are freely estimated. Now, 
the values that you will see here, the standardized regression weights here, will be factor loadings for this, this and this item. And you will use those loadings to calculate your composite reliability, your average variance extracted. And then for HTMT, what you need to do is you need to use here the correlation between these and the correlation between these and then further the heterotrate and monotrate correlations to calculate your HTMT just as we did earlier. So you run it. Now again that same error so we need to just simply change it. BET. Let's run it. Let's do it for LST. Now before we run this model just go to your output make sure standardized estimates is checked sample moments to get the correlations and all that, that is done. Now let's run the model. Let's go to output look at the estimates. Now look at this. Now this is your loading. Now loading for what? BET, DEV, WIS. Now these are the lower order constructs for this higher order construct here and these values represent the loadings for these indicators for higher order construct of servant leadership. Now you are going to use this to calculate your composite reliability and average variance extracted. Let us now calculate the composite reliability, the average variance extracted and the HTMT for this model here with higher order construct of servant leadership and the lower order construct of life satisfaction. Now in order to calculate the composite reliability and average variance extracted, we need factor loadings. So where are the factor loadings that can be utilized to calculate the AVE and composite reliability for servant leadership? Now for behaving ethically, these were the indicators. For development, these were the indicators. And for wisdom, these were the indicators. And the loadings were shown here that were utilized to calculate the CR and AVE for these lower order constructs. Now for servant leadership, Behaving ethically, development and wisdom will become the indicators. And where are the loadings? If we go here, estimates, standardized regression weights. Now these are the loadings. So servant leadership is the construct and these three are the items. So we are going to use these to calculate the composite reliability and average variance extracted. How? Simply you put in to this particular calculator. The calculator is available on the website. This here. Now once the CR and AVE is calculated just as we did for all the other constructs. The next step is to calculate HTMT. Now again these are the dimensions or indicators for servant leadership. These are the indicators for life satisfaction. And these are the correlation, monotrait correlations. Heterotrate correlation. Heterotrate correlation means the correlation between the indicators of servant leadership and the indicators of life satisfaction. Again, this is your monotrate correlation, the correlation between life satisfaction or the items of life satisfaction. Now, how do you get this table? Now, originally that table was in this shape. Where was this table? This table was in estimates, matrices, implied for all variables. Now you just simply copy it, paste it into Excel. Now I removed the unnecessary bits. Well, I do not need these indicators. These were lower level indicators. So I removed them. Well, this is the higher order construct. I do not need these two as well. So these two are not required. This is not required as well. Life satisfaction, yes. And these are not required as well. Now this is the table again these two are not required. Now I've got the table. Now remove these ones as well and we can calculate the HTMT as we have done earlier. Same procedure monotrate correlation average of this will give you the monotrate correlation for servant leadership. Average of this will give you the monotrate correlation for life satisfaction. The heterotrate correlation is actually the correlation between the indicators for servant leadership that is the sub dimensions of servant leadership and the indicators of life satisfaction. So this is your heterotrate correlation the correlation between the indicators of the two constructs in this case. And then this is the formula. Where is K6? K6 is this heterotrate correlation divided by the square root for the multiplication of the two monotrate correlations and this will give you the HTMT ratio. 
So this is how you can calculate the HTMT for higher order constructs. Now that you have done with, or you are rather done with the step two, the, the final one is perform your structural model assessment. How to do this? Let's go on and here is your structural model. Yes. And look at this. Now the arrow is flowing from servant leadership to life satisfaction, the single headed arrow. Now one single thing, obviously these are now endogenous variables have to have the error term. Now I think we will still have that error. So let's name it BET. Let's name it LST. Cross it, run it, estimates and look at this unidentified. Why unidentified? Because you did not fix the parameter. Let's go to here, regression weight one, fixing the parameter will solve the problem. Let's run it again and go to estimates and look at this here. I'm interested in this here, servant leadership. There is a significant impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction. So this is how you can use a very simple higher order construct and assess its relationship with any other construct. In future, I'm going to have a more complex example where I'm going to have a higher order construct, a mediator and a dependent variable as well. I hope this video would have helped you understand how to model higher order constructs in AMOS. Thank you very much.